damn here we are so the boys of blitz 1944 sent me a beer mat for the s8 now before i'm not going to lift this off the thing i've just lifted it off here and try to show it the camera and it wouldn't focus so i'm going to leave it where it is you can see everything you can see it can you so this, this i didn't know it was such a thing i mean i never really thought about that to be honest that obviously the, the nazis the third Reich, everything was propaganda so i would imagine thinking about it logically it did filter it in the normal life uh, or how what people did what people bought what people drank etc but i wasn't aware of the story behind it so i just thought this deserves a story its own thanks again to the lads for sending me it so this is a beer map that's advertising and advertising for the sturm cigarette company and the, it, this provided the sa the brown shirts um operating funds and they, they advertised it with propaganda adverts and sort of uh there was even cigarette cards with sort of historical military uniforms nazi symbols you, you can imagine the, the, the full thing this is like layman's term videos always with me so the the the, the nazis attacked tobacco companies that for, uh, that had foreign or jewish connections and in 1929 arthur dressler uh, cut the deal with the sa to fund a cigarette maker and the sa men would smoke them and the sa got like royalty funds i believe at the time they paid subscriptions or they, they weren't paid. it was the great depression so i mean that's why so many people were attracted to join the uh, sa they, they got a uniform probably got fed and they'd be part of something they didn't have a job so the the the, the, the cost of these is a three and a third fennec and it was good income for the sa uh, again complicated I don't want to read too, write, write too much stuff down, but other Nazi, uh, Nazi people put money up. And then eventually, the Zigarettenfirma Sturm was registered as the Zigarettenfabrik Dressler. So it's up and running. There was four brands. Trommler, which is this one. Alarm, Sturm, and New Front, as in new, as in N-E-U-E, -E, just German New Front. Uh, Trommler was the most popular because it was cheap. Three, fennec, three and a third Fenix. It was distributed free to soldiers and miners. Not miners who work on the ground. Miners as in kids under the age of probably, what, 16 at the time. And as I said before, there was cards with historical military uniforms on, Nazi symbols. The full, you know, anyone who studies this sort of uh, historical period you will realise that, that that was what the Nazi party were about. They were about propaganda in your face, and that included everything down to cigarette smoking. So the, the SA men were, in, were impelled, they had to smoke them, and they would have bag searches at meetings. If you were found not smoking them, you could face a fine. Now, remember, this was like the, the Great Depression, in the late, early 1930s, and you could possibly ill afford to be fined. Um, the SA men attacked shops, sold other brands, and physically attacked the workers. So, you know, you've seen the, the footage of them attacking uh, various businesses with being Jewish, so they did the same when it was people selling different cigarettes. So uh, this is like a really uh, slimmed down version of it. But after the Night of the Long Knives, most of the leaders of the SA who had profited from a cigarette company were either dead or in prison. So cigarette makers Reemster made inquiries as to what was going to be happening next with the cigarette side of things. The new SA leader, SA stab chef, stab chef Victor Lutz, he, he, he cancelled the contract with Sturm and did a deal with uh, Reemster that would pay the SIA 250,000 Reichsmarks uh, every year. So Sturm Cigarettes filed for bankruptcy in 1935. So a little piece of history there. And it, it's an interesting thing to think. You don't get any politics, we still understand. But you've got to be very careful when paramilitary types are parading around the streets of your country, your cities, around the world, wearing uniforms. Doesn't matter what their end is, what side of the political spectrum they're on, it never ends well for the people who don't agree with them. That's, a, that's fairly political for me, but you get what I'm saying. They, these were infiltrating people's lives with cigarettes and uh, attacking people who were trying to legitimately sell other brands. So that's that's me, S.A. Uh, Trommler, uh, three and a third Fennec, beer mapped advertising cigarettes. The S.A. Blitz 1944 said they sent me it because they noticed I had loads of beer mats in the background. And a lot of them, I have, a lot of them uh, from around the world where I've been. Uh, I've got a lot of vintage ones in the ceiling they all have a drawn pin through them i'm not going to put a drawn pin through this i'm going to advertise advertise it <clears throat> i'm going to display it in my german cabinet in the loft
So that's it. This is Stan. And I'll see you.